You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Alohomora. Hello. So this is the underground harbour.
Revelio. Revelio. Last week, I performed a new reversal. Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch?
The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as Liquid Luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Horcruxes? No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelia ought to make quick work of this. the Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her testimonies. Hello, Gareth. Into an owl to so, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. You don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But 
We needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake Connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I was, uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan is to help a friend, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin like the Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. the high wing. Yeah. <laughs> 
dog's meat, here I come. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. better than that by now. We've all told you before, and look what happens when you don't listen. What's that? Oh, that is a grapple, you are. Can bring her. only have Ranrock to blame. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I finally realized what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it the way they did Rookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. 
And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. Is this mine? Kill anyone who tries. Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. Revelio. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. <gasps> you know which one I'd choose. Mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Oh, like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. When the war is over, goblins will rule over wizards at last. Incendio! 
can bring them. And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. For better or for worse, we're in. Incendio, death. Expelliarmus, Bombarda. Mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Confringo! They definitely think there's something here they want. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! No wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous tacking. For any number of endearing qualities, really. Incendium. Expelliarmus. Bombarda.
Reagieren. Expelliarmus. Bombarder. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Bombarder. Incendium. That bridge has seen better days. Expelliarmus. Incendium. Bombarder. Accio. Bombarder. Incendium. Repairer. Read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Well, we're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ranrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Accio! Good for you! Expelliarmus! Bombarder! Still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Accio! <laughs> 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 
Why have you not run away? Intend to die! Back here!
I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much more fun to fight with. Bombarda! Confringo! Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! Clear out these spider webs. Always seem to be in the way. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. there. A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Rebellion. Accio. If 
the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas 